Hi, my name is Julia and I work on type 1 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes affects millions of people worldwide. It is an autoimmune disease that results in lifelong severe insulin deficiency. The only effective treatment we have so far is insulin therapy. But while insulin keeps people alive and help keep the blood glucose level, it is not a cure. Also, it likely underlies serious related health issues, such as, for example, life-threatening hypoglycemia. We have other glucose-lowering agents, but as soon as you remove insulin from the treatment, the diabetic patients fall into diabetic ketoacidosis. In this condition, the main cells of the liver, the hepatocytes, start producing acidifying molecules named ketone bodies, which lead to a fatal blood acidification. As a result, the quality and quantity of life of people suffering from type 1 diabetes is still strongly reduced compared to the healthy subjects, underlying the need for new and better therapies. Our lab identified the protein S109 as a promising weapon against type 1 diabetes. Indeed, by treating diabetic mice with S109 alone, we are able to increase the lifespan, improve the blood glucose level, and prevent the condition of diabetic ketoacidosis by suppressing the production of ketone bodies. The potential of S109 is clear, but S109 per se doesn't act directly on the hepatocytes. We know its receptor, we know it acts on the liver, but in order to translate these findings into clinic, it would be ideal to identify which molecule is acting directly on the hepatocytes to suppress the production of ketone bodies. To do so, first I need to understand which cells in the liver are mediating the beneficial effects of S109. Indeed, in the liver we have more than one cell type. We have cholangiocytes, macrophages, hepatocytes, and currently I'm playing guess who with these cells. I'm using genetically modified mice that express the specific receptor of S1 and A9 in just one cell type at a time. And by looking at which mice are still responsive to S1 and A9, I can understand which cells are required for S1 and A9 to exert its beneficial effects. Once we know this, we can go after the single or multiple factors mediating the communication in the liver and acting directly on the hepatocytes. To conclude, the general goal of our research is restoring the quality and quantity of life of people suffering from type 1 diabetes by providing new therapeutic strategies that do not rely on insulin.